Welcome to the Dazwell Beats channel. I'm Dazwell Beats. Today we'll be doing I'm helping the beginners, all right? So if you're figuring out, if you're a beginner and you're trying to figure out how to use plugins in the MPC software, this video will help you out. How to use the plugins in the MPC software. I'm gonna show you the struggles that I was having when I first started. And I think the issue that y'all might be having, all right? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use plugins in the MPC software. Let's go, let's get it. All right, what's going on? Now we inside the MPC software, all right? First off, if you're installing VSTs inside the MPC software, remember the MPC software at this time of making a video doesn't support VST3. There is a workaround where you can use like a um a host to host the the the, the, the VST3s, but as of right now, to use a VST3 inside the MPC software, it doesn't work unless you're using a host plugin to put the VST3 in and then you can use it inside the MPC software. But that's not here or there. If you're installing a VST, make sure you're installing VST2 and not VST3. All right, that out the way, let's go. So if you're trying to get to your plugins, this is where they are at right here, all right? This icon right here, you go right here, and this will bring up your plugins where you can select your plugins. Right here, this is where you select your plugins. So it's under programs. If yours don't look like this, like how mine's look, let's go right here, view, workspace. Yours might be in simple and look like this. Yours might look simple and look like this. But if you don't want yours to look like this, you'll go here to here to view workspace, then advance. Then you'll get the stuff. All right. Now to get the plugins is right here. To switch plugins, if after you already selected like one, two, or three plugins, you'll switch them here. But to add a plugin, you'll come right here. To switch plugins after you add them, you'll come right here. So let's go right here. Let's pick a VST. Let's pick um, anything. It doesn't matter. Let's pick a Fabric Excel piano. Let's just pick something. All right. That's the plugins right there. You see, you say your Fabric Excel. Now, if you want to add another plugin, you'll come right here to the plus. Because remember, you can't come right here and go to track two, because this is your tracks. This is your programs where your plugins is at. Once you go to track two, it still will keep the F, the, the plugin that you already have. No matter which track you go to, if you go to another track, let's say track three, it still keep the same plugin. So you will have to come here to this plus and change it. Now let's go back to track one and it's there. So no matter where you go, track one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no matter which track you go to, it will still stay on the same plugin unless you add a new one. Let's add a new one right here. We'll add. Let's go to. Let's pick a plugin. Let's pick. Um, let's pick anything. It doesn't matter. Let's pick hybrid. All right. Hybrid is here. And the only thing I don't like, they should make it right here is hybrid. You can, you can rename it to hybrid. All right. So that way, when you come here, you'll see plugin one, which was the fabric Excel. We can rename it. Let's just name it fab. So you can switch between you on track one, but you can switch between fabric and you can switch between hybrid all right so anyone you want to use fabric and hybrid say we we on track one and we have hybrid if we go to track two it's going to stay on hybrid if you go to track three it's going to stay on hybrid all you have to do is just either hit the down and change it 
or hit the plus to add another one. Always remember you need to either hit the plus to add a new plugin or you need to hit the drop down and grab whichever one you selected already. All right, so now let's go back to track one. Let's do the fab. Let's just add something from the fab, um, fabric Excel. It doesn't matter what it is. Let's just add something on track one and fabric Excel. All right, so the sounds or whatever doesn't matter. So we're on Fabric Excel. We had that, right? Now let's say if we go to track two now, it's still going to stay on Fabric Excel. So what that mean? You can add another, uh, use the same sound, but add it on a different track, another pattern, but it will still play in the Fabric Excel. Let's listen. Now, what if say I didn't want the fabric itself, I can come right here and use the hybrid. So that would change track two into hybrid. Now listen. All right, but say we, we want the, don't want the, the hybrid, we wanted the fabric. Leave it on the fabric. All right, now let's go to track three. Still on fabric, but we don't want fabric. We want hybrid. All right, now let's play something. Do doesn't matter about the sound. Alright, so you get the gist of it. Anytime you go to a track, you need to either add a VST so you can add another sound. That, that was my issue when I, um, I started. I was going to track and couldn't figure out how to switch the, the, um, the program. And I was wondering, like, every time I went there, I have to add a new. So let's go here. If I go here and we wanted and we say we want something else on track four we have to hit add okay we can't come right here and just do it if we come if we come right here on track four and change this right here is going to change the plugin that we already was using so you have before you hit the drop down and try to change it remember to hit that plus to add a new once you add plus and it says none, then you go ahead and add a new one. If it doesn't say plus, it's going to change the VST that you was using. All right. And that was my issue. I used to just come right here without adding a plus, And that was my issue. It would just change my whole sound from what I did on track one. And I'm on track four. And it sounds changed totally. That's the issue right there. Always remember when you need a new sound, hit plus before you hit the drop down. All right. That's it, man. Real quick video for the beginners. How to use their plugins in the MPC software. That's it. All right. Let's go. Let's get it. I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. I like that. Let's go.